So if you ever were a person who had like a procrastination problem or a difficulty slacking off on tests or assignments back in middle school or maybe early high school, this is probably the reason why. So today we're going to play some and we're just going to do a full game thing basically because this is the game and this is the map that is by far the hardest. And you want to know why it's by far the hardest? Because it's it has no perks. I keep forgetting that my button's on V. But there, there's, there's no perks on this map. There, there are no perks. You're just you, your pistol, your rifle, and your wits. Or also a mystery box and a couple other barricades and things like that. But this, this was the time. This was the day. This was the map where actually rebuilding barriers meant something. Where it wasn't just like a meaningless task. Ah. This was the good shit. When when the ray gun first was a, like announced, not really announced, but the first time it was ever actually like usable, unless you knew the Easter egg in um in the first or like I think the second mission of the campaign. Uh, the first time the flamethrower, the flamethrower Browning combo, that bullshit broken ass combo that everyone used because everyone would get that, you know, if you had a Browning and a flamethrower, that's what you were, that's what you need. You were set for the rest of the game or an MG42. Well, also, of course, the usual, uh, uh, of course, the ray gun, but that's, that's different. Also, you can watch as I fail every single shot to this guy's, oh my god, Bricky. Just... There we go. If you notice, the zombies are making different noises, too. They sound very, very strange. They used to have the usual as, like, zombie sound, but now they're just very, very different. I don't know why specifically that is, but... I don't know, whatever. Oh, and the nuke doesn't give you points this time around. It's just a nuke. So, if I recall, the best strategy on this map was to open that. It, it, with four players, it was best to camp in this zone with that closed off. But as solo, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to open that, open this, and then do like a train down here in this area. Because the box is right here and you're always ready to get weapons. Oh yeah, and this wall is collapsible too. <sighs> Double barrel shotgun, the Thompson, there was a BAR up there. Oh man, this this was just the times, man. It feels so nostalgic to come back here. Oh god. My aim has yet to improve too. Little explosive barrels as well. The, the graphics of this game have not held up very well. I mean they're not terrible, honestly. They're not like awful, but they are not that great. Ooh. Damn it. Yeah! Damn it. Yeah! Sorry. Oh wow, they came in here fast. Right, they start moving a lot quicker. Damn it, God! Thank you. I'm, I'm not very good at video game. But it's okay though, because the Car 98's only the weapon you use in the beginning rounds. You eventually trade this shit out for whatever mystery box weapon you decide to get. Or, well, not really decide to get, but get lucky enough to get. I'm hoping we'll at least get some decent weapons to start off with because for a long time I've tried playing this map again and it's just Car 98, scoped Car 98, you know? That kind of shit over and over again. That little cabinet upstairs, that cabinet has a scoped Car 98. Nobody wanted a scoped Car 98. Or a Springfield. Fucking Springfield, dude. Come on, this weapon wasn't even that great in multiplayer. Yes, I said it. It's not that great. Why would you use... Oh my god, it's not even a one-shot headshot. It's low- it's round three. It's round three. How can you not one-shot headshot at round three? Oh my goodness. Man, in, in multiplayer, you know what you use? You use the Springfield, you use the Mosin Nagant, and that's how you say it, and the PTRS. Those were your sniper rifles, those were your bolt-action rifles. You didn't use the fucking Springfield. Uh, I mean, some of you may have used the Car 98 because the iron sights are really good, but the fucking Springfield... It doesn't even one-shot a headshot at round three! Three! Fucking three! The zombies haven't even started moving faster yet! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the most piece of shit weapon I have ever seen. One shot to the body. Two shots to the body. And a shot to the head. This tilts me. This is this is fucking tilting. 
I want to use it though, just so I don't have to use my car ammo. Ah, screw it, let's use the damn car ammo. Oh. Well, this was no longer a one-shot headshot either. Maybe it was just the round. Maybe it was just the round timing, but... You see, this is a scary thing. These zombies, they may not be running fast, but if they, they too hit me, and I lose. Two hits and I'm donezos. Because there's no juggernaut. That's better. I can work with this instead. Stab. Stab. There we go. Okay. And just a kill can save me for this time for this time being. Fuck yeah. Alright. Get rid of this goddamn Springfield. And this car, actually, at this point. What do you got me? What for, got for me? What do you got for me? I'll take it. It's better than the other thing. And... Oh, okay. I could take a B-A-R. Or bar. I think it's pronounced B-A-R. Yeah, I think you're supposed to say it the whole thing. Okay, carbine isn't that good anymore. The carbine's like the starting weapon. Right, it has a really good hip fire, though. The bar, though. I love the sound of this weapon. Man, some of these guns just feel so good to use again. I remember for hours I tried breaking this lamp, but you couldn't actually break that lamp. I think we're in an airfield, if I recall. In, in somewhere in the Japanese... Uh, no, are we in Japan? No, we're, we can't be in Japan. We're fighting Nazi zombies. Or am I at... No, I think it's a German airfield. I think we're in a German airfield. And there's only one Japanese map in all of, uh... In all of Nazi zombies in World of War. Yeah, I think it's just Shinonuma. Which is that weird swap ass looking ass place. Because then you also had, uh, The Asylum. And the giant facility. Yeah, whatever. Just, just take it. Come on. I love the little ding. I love the ding sound of the Grand or Garand or I don't. How do you say these words? World War II weapons have very interesting names. Garand, B A R, a bar. It's like the Mosin the Gaunt or something or the, the goddamn what's that other German weapon? Um. Oh, uh, I don't know. Car 98. Okay, maybe these were, maybe they weren't that hard to pronounce, but some of them were hard to pronounce. I'm American. I don't I don't understand foreign languages. I can I know like I know a little bit of Spanish. That's all I got for you. All right, switching to the bar. Oh yeah. You see that now this you see this this is what you do. This is the weapon. Then you can just kill everyone, and then. Take the max ammo. You see, back in the day, back when you played four-player co-op on this game, what you would always do with the max ammo is, you know, you'd all, like, because you had to reload and then you would get your ammo, like, back. Because if you already reloaded, it wouldn't, like, add any to the current ammo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What the... What is my luck today? Oh shit, they're running now. Okay, just whatever. Um, anyway, like I said, you would always have to call out Max Ammo. And at the end of whatever, it's like, Max Ammo, reload, 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 and then everyone would reload. And then, you know, Max Ammo would be popped, and then you'd all have the extra ammo and stuff like that. Because you wouldn't lose out on any extra ammo you would have, or supposed to have been getting earlier on. From not having the gun reloaded. This is- okay, zombies are starting to be a lot louder now. Oh dear. Please no. Please no. Shit, what is it? <gasps> oh, yes! Yes! Absolutely amazing! Oh, yes! Wow, this guy has a lot of recoil. <laughs> yes! This is the life! Oh, there's a lot of blood effects in this game. Way more blood effects than I remember. Okay, I think we're good for now. Keeping this gun. Let's get ourselves like maybe a not a trench gun, but something like kind of more. Ooh, the Magnum. This was a powerful weapon back in the day. This shit was intense. Boop. I'm set. I'm set. There's, there's like. There's no reason for me to even go to the box anymore. I'm going to still for the ray gun or the flamethrower, but 
There's no reason. Trench gun, nah. These are, these are the two guns. These are the two heavy machine guns that everyone wanted. Long reload time, but who cares? I have the two big boys. Yeah. Oh wait, that was an, I have insta-kill still on. Right. And I can actually repair barriers, because repairing barriers actually is important. Keep getting I have insta-kill on. Almost. There we go. Okay, they're all they're all gonna start heading their way over. Come on. Okay. They don't do as much damage as I remember them doing. Explosions are fucking awesome, man. And these big red barrels. Okay. I gotta remember picking my reload times. When I reload is like super important. Come on, come on, come on. Nah. Got the- uh, now this time it's a little bit better though, because at least that M1, uh, Garrett has the damn grenade launcher on it. Uh, that- that makes it a little bit better, but not good enough, unfortunately. Just gotta keep on killing zombies, keep on buying shit, and eventually I'll grab myself that flamethrower. Oh, max ammo. Nope, MP40. Good gun. Probably be better in the later games. Not good enough now. Anyone else up here? Oh, hello. There we go. You see what I'm saying, saying though? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you can see how this really low levels are like super scary because you're just running without any perks. You know, there's no, there's no revive soda. There's no gobble gums or anything like that. There's, there's nothing. It's just you, two guns, and and like the hope that you'll survive. The hope that is, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna live, but I'm gonna try. Man, this was like, uh, I, I cannot imagine them ever considering this as such a success. Like, I imagine this was a kind of afterthought, like, you know, what do we do now? Like, anything cool we want to add? Let's just add, like, a fucking zombies mode, you know, just, like, a tiny wave-based thing. Because when you really think about this, it didn't take too, like, much to honestly think of this idea. Couple areas you can open up, some guns on the wall, and then a special box that costs a lot of money. But you get a special gun that's like random. And we can put like a special gun in there, like a ray gun or some shit. And, and that's it. Repel or build barriers and like it's not a very hard concept. I mean, right nowadays in like Black Ops 3 and stuff, it's super just it's it's off it's off the rails. It's insane right now. Not bad. Still a lot of fun, but just insane. It is a little bit satisfying though, just to have old school. Call of Duty Zombies, though, you know? This MG42 actually has a pretty quick reload animation. Thought it'd be a lot longer. Anyone up here? Hi! Bye! Oh, wait, there's still one more person. Or, zombie. Zombies aren't people. Zombies don't have rights. Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, I can buy a new gun, too, just in case. Can I reload cancel with the MG42? Oh, I can! Sweet. Python. Any other day of the week, Python immediately. Or, not Python, it's the uh, 3 7 Magnum. I keep calling it the Python because I keep thinking of it as the Python from Black Ops 1, which was like a really good pistol. Oh god, it's actually getting a little bit scary now. There's sounds coming from everywhere. I probably shouldn't be up here. Because then they're gonna come from below me. And that's a bad that's bad news. I um, don't have a whole lot of ammo left with this MG42 though. We're starting to get kinda low. Well, I say kinda low when I have like 160 uh, reserve bullets. I really want that double points though, so I'm actually gonna wait on getting that nuke. Because I wanna get the double points that you would normally get from just getting like, you know, shooting zombies. Like this! A little bit longer, and then I'll go ahead and grab the, the, the nuke. Oh, the points is off. Boom. Let's go again. Let's go again. Damn it. Ah, oh, the flamethrower was right there, too. 
Do I want to swap out for the Thompson? No, I got plenty more buys left. I think because I'm almost out of ammo, but I do have the Browning, and if I get a max ammo anytime soon, it might be okay. The train, the, the train, the Thompson might be a good pick later on, though, specifically because it's right there. I can wall buy ammo for it quite often. Damn the zombos. All right. Oh, bring it through the little wall. Okay, I can buy another weapon. Come on, flamethrower. I just want the flamethrower by the end of this game. I have bought so many mystery box attempts. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm stuck! No! Oh no! That's the thing with this map, though, you know? When you don't have Juggernaug, when you don't have Revive Soda, you make one little mistake and you're, you're goddamn dead. Immediately. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I know it wasn't the longest ROM, but I, that was just a good time, man. Alright. Anyway, my name is Brick Yorker Day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.